Yechi HaMelech HaMashiach, I am Yosef Edri, and I am one of the founders of the expansion of 770 over 10 years ago. So let's talk about the underground basement structure and where, from where to where the students dug the tunnel. So you have the main synagogue, which is on the corner of Eastern Parkway and Kingston Avenue. Kingston Avenue, so let's say if this is Eastern Parkway, here's the face, the front of 770. Then you have Kingston Avenue along the side. And then the next block parallel is Union Street. So be, so let's say the basement of 770 is this much. Then there's another small basement, which is the Geniza basement, which is where all the holy scriptures, the the Torah portion, all the, 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 the holy writings that are, aren't being used, they just make new, they print new ones for the next week. All that is stored in this next basement. So there's a wall, and then there's another basement. Uh, the entrance to this basement is on Kingston Avenue. You have these two metal doors that are open, and then a straight flight of steps coming out of the sidewalk goes straight down. That would be this next basement adjacent to the Eastern Parkway synagogue shul area. So that second basement is where all the gniza, all the holy works uh, is stored and then every once in a month they get a, a the the truck for the geniza gets there because all these holy scriptures cannot be just thrown in the garbage they need to be buried okay so they are then taken out on a truck once a month and then they're driven away so all the geniza all the ripped up prayer books all the ripped up torah uh pamphlets they're all in there and and they're that's where they're stored for the short amount of time till they're picked up by a truck. The next wall has another basement. Again, the entrance to the second basement is also two metal doors opened up on the sidewalk in Brooklyn. Uh, those in Brooklyn already know what I'm talking about. And it goes straight down into from the pavement, from the sidewalk, into the ground. That second basement is where all the holy artifacts of 770, like the menorah, that is brought out on Hanukkah. This menorah is brought out on the eight days of Hanukkah around the same time as uh, another holiday um, and uh, during the December, uh, early December. And um, usually, it depends on the Jewish calendar, but this is uh, also where they have the Rebbe's chair, the Rebbe's tables, the Rebbe's stender, which is like a standing platform where the Rebbe would speak to the Hasidim. This is where on special occasions... These artifacts, like you know, like the like like in, the, in if we had to compare um, this to like um, Indiana Jones to like uh, you know the 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 Ark of the Covenant, this would be where all the vessels of the temple would be stored. Okay, and then adjacent to that would be a ritual bath for men, the purification process before they pray and before they study, called Union's Mikvah. A mikvah is a Jewish men's ritual bath uh, this is a tradition that goes back thousands of years in the jewish uh, history um where we purify ourselves before we pray and uh of course there's a special separate kind of ritual bath for women um they have to have seven clean days those who seven pure days before they can be with their husbands those who study the torah know about this so you have the synagogue where the torah study is done you have the place where the 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 Geniza is, where all the texts of the Torah and the prayer texts are stored temporarily before they're taken for proper respectful burial. And then you have the items of the synagogue that are very very special. And then you have the ritual bath. So this is a very similar setup than what you would expect. Uh, underneath the Temple Mount uh, uh, or during the time of the Temple in Jerusalem. Um, so this is kind of the setup. Of course, uh, in the expansion uh, project, um, there will need to be a different place designated for all these uh, things. Of course, Union Mikveh hasn't been uh, functioning for many, many years, and uh, there have been many other ritual baths throughout the community. Um, so I don't know if that's something that needs to come back necessarily in the building of 770 itself, although that might be something interesting that can come through later. Um, but 
for regarding the holy scriptures and a place for them to temporarily be stored. This will be something that uh, needs to be taken into consideration for the 770 expansion. A new location for this may be on the top of the basement, on the floors where now there are some offices. Maybe in that area they'll pay, have a place for them, as well as a place to store the uh, the menorah and other uh, artifacts that might need uh, have some kind of a, a temporary space throughout the rest of the year, not during the holidays. Um, perhaps uh, an elevator will need to be installed in order to be able to have easier access for these kind of things, um, because the chairs and the tables of this is all you know solid wood, very high quality, as well as the Geniza, which is basically books and books and books, is very, very heavy. So I would assume that a large elevator would be in order. And this has to be something that is taken into consideration as this whole area from Eastern Parkway all the way to Union is expanded for room for Torah study, prayer, and acts of charity and goodness and kindness. You're going to need to find new places for these uh, elements that till now had um, a designated area.